what is going on eSim studios welcome back thank you for joining us um the uh transformation is complete now uh shame on you i know your dirty little mind it's not that type of transformation um transformation of this of the phone not me the phone transformation of the phone um this is i transformed this from a t-mobile s24 plus to a samsung unlocked s24 plus now um i put out a video on how to unlock it and you have until uh well i'm not i guess not officially but you have until uh excuse me february 22nd there is a there is a glitch in the software now i don't know if it's for if i think it's just t-mobile s24s whether it's the s24 s24 plus or s24 ultra where you can un factory unlock these sim unlock these when you get them from t-mobile whether it's paid off or whether you're still paying on it month to month it's locked to the network right so i did a put a video out a link in the description box below that walks you through how to unlock it now it will be patched i can guarantee you there is a glitch in there that will let you unlock it for free and it only takes about 30 seconds um but believe me t-mobile is going to patch it to where it won't you cannot unlock it uh for free with this next security patch it's supposed to come out on february 22nd i can guarantee you that they're going to patch it so you have about a week left five six days whatever it is to unlock your t-mobile samsung device um and that will allow you to use any sim card you want i put uh showed in the video i put a ryzen sim in it worked i put an at&t sim in it worked i put a mint mobile sim in it worked and now i have google fi can't even tell huh there you go google fi and a t-mobile phone so that was the first step now so you unlock it right so you have an unlocked phone you're using google fi uh verizon uh visible whatever you want to use in there you can use but you still have the t-mobile bloatware on there now it's gotten better over the years but there's still like even if you um uninstall the t-mobile apps you still have you still get t-mobile notifications in the settings it still says t-mobile um so what if you want to basically remove that well there's no real super quick fix like the network sim unlock that took about 30 seconds now this one is free as well and i did it last night um and i'm here to walk you through it sorry for the long intro but yes we can uh, i'll walk you through it now i'm not going to be responsible for anybody's phone that you mess up because this does involve flashing now there's no janky uh computer mess uh work or programs that you have to well there is a program but it is it is a samsung program called odin o-d-i-n um i uploaded the files uh and i will link all, all the files you need in the description box below odin is where you're going to you're going to download the stock firmware for this s24 plus so it's the same firmware if you purchased a s24 plus from samsung unlocked from their website it's that firmware that you're going to download and you're going to load into this odin program samsung odin flasher uh, uh, and then you're going to flash that firmware that unlocked samsung firmware specifically for this device it's for the plus the the software that i have now uh, the file that i have but you can find if you have a s24 ultra the firmware is out there or if you have a stock s24 from t-mobile uh the samsung unlocked s24 firmware is out there but the one that i am posting is just for this but uh but odin you can use odin to flash the s24 s24 plus or s24 ultra so let me show you what this entails and I'll, I'll put instructions in the description 
So this is what it looks like, right? So after flashing, um, you're gonna plug it in. I have um, instructions on how to do it. Um, you basically plug it in, you start Odin, it says, yay, your device is connected. And then you simply unzip the files and you plug in each file here. And then uh, you hit start and it will go through the process over there on the left. And then once you're finally done, it'll say all threads completed, succeed, all right? And that's a bigger picture up on the top left. If it gives you a green box, that means your phone is properly connected and ready to go. Then you add the uh, bootloader, you know, all this stuff. And then uh, you hit start and it'll flash it. So I'm not going to be responsible for anybody that messes up their phone because there is potential for you to brick your phone. Now, I am a uh, old school flashaholic from back in the XDA days. I used to flash ROMs on my Pixel 5 almost on a daily basis uh not on a daily probably weekly basis but um i have tons of experience it's very easy if you don't have experience um just do your homework but you cannot blame me i'm not going to be held responsible if you break your phone let me show you the file that were that, that i used uh, share screen, window, oh, entire screen. Let's show the entire screen. Why not? So, what you are going to do, I'm going to um, upload these files, a uh, Google Drive file that you all these files will be included Come on. Huh? sorry all right so um right here that's going to be this file right here i'm going to upload all these i'm going to upload this file right here for y'all it's going to be this s24 plus t-mobile unlock now odin this is the odin samsung uses this program to uh to basically load software onto their devices so in the manufacturing process after they put the phone together in the Samsung, uh, wherever they make them, right? They, so they, they put the phone together. Now, last step is loading the software on there. Well, um, this is the program they use to load software onto these Samsung devices. Uh, it's called Odin. Now, you're gonna download these, these you're gonna originally see these bottom three right here. These bottom you're going to see this one, this one, and this one when you download the uh, the link that's in the description box. You're going to unzip Odin here and put a, and extract everything from this Odin zip into this same file in the file system here. And then you're going to do the same thing with the firmware, right? It's a zip which you're going to extract all and just do it right here inside the same file. This is the drivers. Now, if you've plugged your Samsung phone into a computer before and transferred files to and from your computer, you don't need to download and install this. Because when you transfer files to and from your phone into your computer through a wire, um, not cloud tra file transfer, I'm talking about actually using a wire from your phone to your computer, it installs you drivers automatically. But if you have not, then if you have not done that, then yes, you will need to install Samsung drivers. But so after you unzip these, the Odin and the firmware, right? Let's go take a look and see what's in those files. So here's Odin. You simply gonna run this exe. You just run, right click it, right? 
and run as administrator. Why is my mouse not in the right position? Anyways, you're going to run it as administrator. I guess right there. Run as administrator right there. And then here is the firmware. And that's where you plug in your Remember I showed you this where it says BLAPCP. So you're going to take Let's see here where it starts with BL. You're going to take BL, plug it in there. You're going to take CP, plug it in there. AP, plug it in there. <laughs> Um, what else? Um, and you have to put your phone into download mode. It will not work if you just plug your phone in while it's powered on, like this. It has to be in download mode. So how do you put it into download mode? It's pretty easy. All you do is you press, you turn your phone off, power your phone off. Press and hold volume up and volume down with two fingers so you push volume up and volume down now hold them in don't just push them and that's it hold power uh, hold down volume up and hold down volume down and then with a third finger push the power button and turn it on while you're still holding volume up and volume down and then it will boot into the download mode and it'll say warning and the screen will turn green don't be worried nothing will happen <laughs> And then it asks you, uh, push volume up if you want to proceed. And you select the volume up to proceed. And then you plug in your phone uh, 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 to your computer. And you open up Odin right here. And then you open up Odin, run as administrator. And then you're ready to roll. And then you start plugging in the numbers, right? You take the BL, the AP, CP, and CSC. Remember, if you get green up here, it will show you that on the bottom one. And then once it passes and it's successful, you'll get the green, the bigger, larger green square up top that says pass. And then you'll have a, a true Samsung unlocked S24 Plus. No, with literally zero T-Mobile uh, uh, anything on this device, right? So let me show you. Let me turn this overhead light on. So, uh, no T Mobile anywhere to be found. How would I prove? I'm not sure because I deleted oh I know I can simply reboot it you know a t-mobile device yesterday when I unlocked the device when you reboot the phone when you power it off and power it back on it still gives you the t-mobile boot animation so go back and see the unlock method um, even after you unlock it when you reboot it when you power it off and power it back on it'll still say t-mobile t-mobile it'll just be unlocked for any sim card well Really? No T-Mobile boot animation. And it's factory unlocked, because watch. Remember yesterday or on the unlock video? Look. Remember, you go to more connection settings, that's where you can unlock it. Well, look, now that I flashed the Samsung unlocked firmware, 
nowhere does it say uh, to unlock your phone. Why? Because Samsung unlocked phones already come unlocked, so they don't need that option in the settings. So there's more proof that I flashed the Samsung unlock uh, firmware on the, for this device. So very cool, uh, very neat. If you need any help, I gotta get off. I got a headache, so um, if you need any help, I can help you to a certain extent, but I can't do it for you, right? So um, I can give you little pointers and tips, but it's pretty easy. I'm gonna put directions in the descri description box. I'm gonna link all these files you need. So again, Odin will work with any Samsung, the software. But if you have an Ultra or a base S24, um, the stock firmwares are out there as well. So just let me know if you need if you need something I can uh, you know point you in the direction you need to go. So uh, that'll be it. And if you have any questions, give me a holler in the comments. I check them every single day. So the transition is complete for the phone, not for me. Peace out. Damn, my head hurts. I got a bad headache. I gotta go. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow.